His lawyers tried everything to stop it happening, but today the Labour peer Lord Janna appeared in court in person for the first time, charged with 22 counts of historical child sex abuse. His appearance, which lasted less than a minute, came after the judge warned that if he didn't attend, he could face arrest. Paul McNamara was in court. We have waited and waited and waited. After months of deliberations and even a last ditch high court bid to stop this appearance happening, this was the morning Lord Janna was meant to finally face the courts over child sex abuse charges. But he still didn't turn up. This man, Paul Ozian QC, tried to argue with the courts again today, pleading for dementia patient Lord Janna to appear by video link. The arguments fell on deaf and somewhat irritated ears. So just after lunchtime and under threat of arrest, the 87-year-old peer finally arrived at Westminster Magistrates Court. The magistrate was determined this moment would happen. In court this morning, after finally losing her patience with Lord Janna's defence, she said, even if I have to have him arrested, I will resolve this issue today. And so at 2 p.m. this afternoon, the frail figure of Lord Janna slowly shuffled into court number one. He was flanked by two carers, looked around the courtroom, and when he saw the members of the press, he pointed and laughed and said, wonderful. Wearing a blue shirt, green cardigan and navy anorak, he was shown to his seat where he sat slumped. He laid his blue baseball cap on the desk in front of him and listened as the magistrate asked if he was Lord Janna. Yes, he replied. She informed him that the case would now be referred to Southwark Crown Court and after just 59 seconds, the peer shuffled back out of the room. This minute in court has been a long time coming. Lord Janna stands accused of 22 child sexual abuse charges spanning the 1960s, 70s and 80s. Allegations were first made against Lord Janna in 1991 while he was still the Labour MP for Leicester West. Four police investigations followed over the years, as did the onset of dementia. In April, the Crown Prosecution Service said they would not charge Janna owing to his poor health a decision that was overturned in June. I said, we're going to go into the house. A Crown Court judge will now decide if Lord Janna is fit to face a full trial. If not, there will be a trial of the facts, where a jury will decide only if he committed the physical acts of abuse with no finding of guilt and no conviction. Lord Janna was made to have his day in court today. His alleged victims say they need theirs.